Welcome to this video showing you the packing step in Rockstick Transit Designer. Once you reach the packing step, you will have your list of cables and modules on the left, and your frame openings on the right. If you're using multiple frames, you can identify them by their frame ID number in the top left. There are a few ways to get your modules into the frame openings. The first one is to use the out of place function. Clicking this button, we just take the entire list and place them into the openings. I use the clear all to get all the cables back to the list. The other way is to select and drag into the desired opening. You can use a single module or you can drag multiple at one time. I use the toolbar underneath to either fill up the opening with spares or clear it. Now the cable list consists of three tabs. It's the unpositioned, the positioned and the spares. Now if I position a few of the modules, they disappear from the unpositioned tab and they appear here. If I select one of them, it will be identified in the list. Under the spares tab, I can choose to add spares either by row or single modules. If at any point regret what I'm doing, I can press the undo button. I will clear that opening again, go to the unpositioned tab. Now, the whole thing is, if you have anything in the unpositioned tab, then you have work left to do. So if I just out of place all of them, I see that this is empty. When the unpositioned tab is empty, your work is done and all the cables are placed. If anything appears here, they still need to be placed within the transit to make it complete. Okay. Now if you want to change the module that's allocated in that cable, you can select it by pressing the edit button and then change the module here. If you want to change multiple modules at one time, you can select them and use this one, the global edit, to change them all in one shot. If you want to search for cables or sort them or filter them in any way, you can use the search field. If I search for power, it will select only my power cables because it has the power category. You can also filter for any of the other fields in the cable list, like for instance cable ID. Another neat feature is the highlight category feature. If you click this, a color would be added to all the different categories. For instance, the signal category, the instrument category. This makes them very easy to identify, both in the list and also in the openings. I can use another out of place algorithm called separate by category to place all my cables according to category. As you can see here, the different categories are highlighted in different colors. And if I go to the position tab, I can find all of them here. If I click on one of them, I can also identify them in the list. If you're short of space, you can collapse these different panels this way and also use the full screen feature. This will give you a lot of room to work with your different openings. Very good, especially if you're on a small screen, an iPad, or if you're designing in very big frames. If I like to place, for instance, all my power cables, I can search and filter for them, select all of them at one time, and then add them to an opening. If I like to add spares at this point, I can use the fill opening to add the correct spares to that opening. If I want to exit the full screen, I press this button again and I get back. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to rearrange cables within the different openings. 
If I want to remove some spares, I can select them and use the clear button to unpack them. I can also use the double click to select and delete a single module. If I want to move modules between opening, I can use select it and drag it. If I want to fill up this empty space with spares, I can use the fill opening command. If I'm using rectangular modules, these can be rotated. That might be applicable especially for smaller solutions. If I want to rotate it, I select it, I click on the Rotate Module button. If I want to rotate it back, I just click the button again. Now that's it for the packing plan in Rockstick Transit Designer. Thank you for watching.